Hello bakers, thank you very much for joining me today. Welcome back to the Cakers channel where we do beautiful cake decorating tutorials and share cake decorating tips and tricks. Stay to the end of this video to see how I decorated this fun cake. So I started with my cake already filled and crumb coated and here I am applying my final coat. Not the final coat but I needed a thicker layer before my final coat of buttercream so I'm applying it right now. After applying a generous amount of buttercream to the cake, I'm going around the cake multiple times with my cake smoother to get rid of the excess buttercream and to get the cake a bit smooth. Then I'll put it in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes for the coat of buttercream to set. Look how vibrant that yellow is looking. I was so happy when decorating this cake. This color just got me pumped right throughout and it was a fun cake to decorate. So this is my final layer of buttercream. I applied again a generous amount and I'm going around with my cake smoother to get this cake as smooth as possible. So as you can see, it's not very hard to smooth because the cake underneath was very chilled. So the buttercream went on smoothly. I did go ahead and put it back in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. And now I'm going around with my cake smoother to make it as smooth as possible. Here I am filling in any gaps with some buttercream. So any little ear pockets that are on the final layer, I'm just filling that in with some more buttercream. Then I'll go around it again with my cake smoother. Please take note as to how far above the actual height of the cake I went with the buttercream. I did this for a reason. The reason why I did this was to help me to create very sharp edges. So I'm going to put this cake back in the refrigerator for another 15 minutes or so. Once it's out, I'm using a sharp knife to just slowly and carefully cut away the excess buttercream from the top of the cake. And this, as you're seeing here, will help me to achieve very crisp, sharp edges on my buttercream cake. And that's what we need for a stunning looking cake. Once I'm finished cutting away the buttercream, I'm going in with my cake smoother again to just sharpen up those edges a bit and get rid of any excess buttercream and just to make the finish clean. Now let's beautify this blank canvas. So here I'm using some red airbrush color and my good old electric airbrush for cakes. It works very well and I love it. So I filled it up and here I am spraying on my red color around the base of the cake. I'm just making it more dense towards the cake board and a bit lighter like faded as I go up. I am applying a red ribbon to the base of the cake and I'll apply the same red ribbon around the base of the cake board just to make the cake look uniformed and complete. Once this is all done, I am applying my edible image to the front of the cake. I have a video explaining to you how I prepare my edible images for a cake. I will leave a link of it below in the description and I'll try to attach a link of it to the top of this video as well so you can check it out to see how I prepare my edible images. Now just applying some circles like to the cake. I cut this out using two different size piping tips. Just the, not the nozzle part that you pipe through but just the back of it. Some of them have different sizes so I just use a big one to cut out and then a smaller one to cut out the middle section and I got those little circles. And that is the cake with a beautiful banner at the front that says happy birthday to the celebrant and a beautiful cake topper went into it and I was so happy with that cake and the celebrant was over the moon. Please like this video, share with your friends and families, and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more cake decorating tutorials. If you did like this video and you want to see more of my work, 
please click one of the videos on the screen to check them out. Until next time, keep on baking.